The Samsung Galaxy X Cover 6 Pro is perhaps one of the most underrated and surprising phones to be released this year. The X Cover 6 Pro has resurrected a bunch of old school features that consumers have been demanding for years while throwing in some modern flagship specs. Is this just a weird phone for a niche market or is it secretly the best phone of the year? Let's find out. Hello Technophiles, welcome to Tinsy's Tech. I'm RJ and in this video, I'll go over the 10 amazing features of the X-Cover 6 Pro. Number 10. Price The X-Cover 6 Pro retails for $600, the same price as the original iPhone from 15 years ago. In today's market, this puts it in the upper mid-range of devices, but it's still a comfortable price for most consumers. In the past few years, a lot of people have complained about the increasing prices of smartphones. The original iPhone retailed for $600, while the current iPhone 14 retails for $800, and double that for a full-spec iPhone 14 Pro Max. And Samsung generally isn't any better. With their base S22 retailing for $800 and a full-spec S22 Ultra retailing for $1,400. So $600 is a very reasonable price in today's market. Number 9. Headphone Jack The X-Cover 6 Pro features a 3.5mm headphone jack. This means that you can plug in a pair of wired headphones or an auxiliary cable directly into the phone to listen to your music. It wasn't too long ago that this was standard on smartphones, but starting most prominently with the iPhone 7, it has become the norm for most mid-range and flagship phones to eliminate the headphone jack. Whether this was a legitimate space-saving decision or a strategy to sell more Bluetooth headsets is a matter of debate. But don't worry, if you prefer using Bluetooth, the X-Cover 6 Pro is equipped with Bluetooth 5.2, so you can still have a rock-solid connection going wired or wireless, and unlike most other phones, you'll have the choice. Number 8. Removable Battery Another old-school feature resurrected by the X-Cover 6 Pro is a removable battery. This is an almost non-existent feature on the market today that, with the exception of the iPhones, used to be pretty common. This feature started going away under the claim that it helps make phones more water-resistant, but had the added effect of pushing consumers to upgrade to new phones instead of replacing the battery. As for the battery itself, it is a 4050mAh battery which, while not very big for a mid-range phone, is enough to last most people a whole day of casual use. While on the topic of power, let's also mention the charging capabilities. The X-Cover 6 Pro has no wireless charging, which is typical for a mid-range phone. It features 25 watt fast charging for US models, but outside of the US it drops down to 15 watts, which feels rather slow. One other unique feature is an LED charging indicator that is red when charging and green when fully charged, which really adds to the old school charm. Number 7. Expandable Memory the X-Cover 6 Pro supports expandable memory with a microSD card. There are still quite a few phones that offer this feature, but they are almost all mid-range and budget phones. The last Galaxy S phone to have this feature was the S20 from two years ago, and we don't expect to see it coming back. In fact, none of the flagship phones from Apple, Samsung, Google, OnePlus, or Motorola have expandable memory. However, Samsung's A-series phones do still have this feature. One thing that makes the X-Cover 6 Pro a bit unique, though, is that it has a dedicated slot for the SD card. Modern devices with expandable memory, like the A53, use the SIM card tray requiring you to remove the SIM card to remove or replace the SD card. It's not a huge deal for most people, but does add a level of convenience. Number 6. Ruggedness While old phones have a lot of features that we miss, they also had some big flaws. One of the biggest was their lack of durability. The X-Cover 6 Pro is designed for industrial workers, so Samsung has worked hard to make it very rugged and durable. For starters, the screen is protected by the top-of-the-line Gorilla Glass Victus Plus. This glass is typically found on flagship phones, making the X-Cover 6 Pro one of the cheapest phones with this level of protection. On top of that, the phone has an IP rating of 68, making it very resistant to dust and water damage. This is a better rating than most mid-range phones, and the iPhone didn't even get an IP68 rating until the iPhone XS in 2018. Number 5. Performance The X-Cover 6 Pro is equipped with a Snapdragon 778G chip with 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. This is a very good mid-range setup 
and is more than enough performance for all but the most avid gamers and is a massive upgrade from the Exynos 850 in the Xcover 5. On top of this, the Xcover 6 Pro will get 4 years of Android updates and 5 years of security patches, so you'll be able to use this phone for a very long time. Poor performance is arguably the biggest issue with old phones. The computational demands of modern apps are just too much for the processors found in old phones, and this, more than anything else, forces them to be obsolete. It's also been one of the biggest weaknesses for other rugged phones made for industrial workers. The similarly priced Qsera DoorSport UW only has a Snapdragon 480 chip, which doesn't come close to the Xcover 6 Pro. Number 4. Cameras the Xcover 6 Pro has two cameras, a 50 megapixel standard and an 8 megapixel ultra wide. This is a good camera, but if a great camera is a priority for you, then the Pixel 7 retails for the same price and is a whole other league compared to the Xcover 6 Pro. But if you don't care about having the best camera, the Xcover 6 Pro has a very adequate camera that can take very good pictures. It even has all the camera features like portrait mode, night mode, HDR, panorama, pro video and photo modes, and much more. The video capture is also capable of 4K or 1080p. The camera lacks optical image stabilization, which is found in even less expensive phones, but all around, this is a very capable phone that will outperform flagship cameras from 5 years ago. Number 3. Display Smartphone displays have really progressed over the years, and Samsung in particular is known for having amazing displays, even on mid-range devices. However, this isn't so much the case with the Xcover 6 Pro. The phone has a 6.6 PLS LCD display with 120Hz refresh rate, compared to the OLED and AMOLED displays found on most phones, even once half the price of the Xcover 6 Pro, the image is going to look washed out and lacking contrast. However, the PLS technology allows for better viewing angles than the more common IPS LCD displays found on older phones, and the 120Hz refresh rate will help the phone feel more responsive and fluid. If you don't watch a lot of videos or play a lot of games, this probably won't be a big issue for you, but this is the biggest weakness of the Xcover 6 Pro. Number 2. Size While the phone has a 6.6-inch display, this is a bigger device than other 6.6-inch devices. In fact, this phone is longer, wider, thicker, and heavier than the S22 Ultra, which has a 6.8-inch display. You could almost think of it as being the size of an S22 Ultra with a case. This big size is probably going to be a drawback for most users, since one-handed operation will be almost impossible for anyone smaller than Shaquille O'Neal. So, maybe there is some merit to the claim that the headphone jack takes up too much space. Number 1. Unique Features In addition to the power button and the volume buttons, the Xcover 6 Pro has two additional buttons, one on the side and one on the top. These buttons can be customized to activate apps or other features on the phone, such as the flashlight. The button at the top can even support up to two functions with a single tap or a tap and hold. Combining these buttons with smart home features can really make for a lot of cool possibilities. Another unique feature is that the Xcover 6 Pro can be used with gloves on, even gloves not designed to work with touchscreens. This is designed for thick construction gloves, but even as a consumer heading into winter, having the ability to use a phone with gloves on can really be handy. Finally, the LED indicator light on the top also works as a notification indicator light that blinks for emails and messages. A lot of people set this up with the camera LED, so having a dedicated LED could be really handy. So what do you think? Is this phone only suitable for the industrial purposes it was designed for, or is it the best mid-range phone of 2022? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you like this video, you will also like these other videos, and if you've already watched them, then consider subscribing to the channel. Once you do, comment subscribe, and I'll give you a personal shout out in a future video. I want to shout out Nishat Jr. Thanks for subscribing. It's technophiles like you that make this all worthwhile. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.